welcome to Rock Whisperer NY. My name is Krista and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys different ways to work with crystals that are practical and effective and fit into our daily lives because a lot of us are very busy. Um, I get this question a lot. I love crystals. I love how they feel. I love their energies, but how do I work with them? Well, there's a bunch of different ways. Um, the few that I'm going to be showing you today, as I said, are practical, effective ways that have worked for me in my experience. But I want to be honest and say that really you're only limited by your imagination. There are so many different ways to work with crystals. So you can give a few of these techniques a try, but then also listen to your intuition and be willing to explore. Um, the most important thing that I have found with crystals is that you need to have them close to you. Uh, my guidance has been that they need to be within the physical layer of your aura. So somewhere close or just a couple inches away. If you have a larger crystal like this that emanates more energy, you can have it further away from you, which is how we can work with crystals in um, a space or a room. But in general, we're working with smaller crystals. Now, one of the most practical, effective ways to work with crystals is to wear them as jewelry. Uh, when you wear them as jewelry, you have them on you. They're constantly working with your energy system, okay? And they're helping you throughout the day. Generally, when you're wearing them on you, I do recommend having smaller crystals, okay? So that the energy isn't too overwhelming. And also not having on you more than three to five at a time. Again, so that the energy won't be too overwhelming. So you can wear them as, uh, as jewelry. I'm a big fan of popping them in my bra. I'm always running around with crystals in my bra, in my pockets, okay? You can even tape them onto a given chakra if you want. Just pop it in there. Yes, I have a little more space than maybe some other people, but hey, it works. So that's another way uh, that you can work with crystals. Um, a way that's very popular is to work with them in meditation. So you can hold one crystal in each hand. When you're meditating with crystals, I recommend going with slightly larger crystals, around palm size, okay? That's so that a lot of energy can flow through the body. The palm chakras are actually quite sensitive and draw a lot of energy, and it always comes in first to the heart center and then distributes where it needs to go. But sitting and meditating with crystals is very effective. Now, you don't need to do this for hours at a time, especially if you're starting a meditation practice. You can literally just sit and focus on the energy coming in for five minutes and build up from there. In my personal practice, I'll do 20 to 30 minutes in the morning, 20 to 30 minutes in the evening, and the crystals that I choose uh, depends on what I'm working on at the time. So right now here, I've got a blue lace agate for emotional calming and soothing. And here I've got a fluorite, which is great for focus. So these are two really good crystals to work with in your meditation practice. A lot of people come up to me and say, oh, I've got these crystals and I carry them in a pouch. And I'll say, oh yeah, and where is that pouch? Oh, it's in my purse, or it's in my room, or it's you know back home in my office. And it's like, okay, well that's not helping you. If you wanna carry around some crystals in a pouch just for storage, that's one thing. But if you want these crystals to be helping you, okay, pop the pouch in your bra, put it on a string, wear it around your neck, underneath your shirt, have it in a pocket, or even hold on to it, let's say, while you're on the subway. But if you're putting this somewhere and leaving this, it ain't helping you. You can also use crystals to affect the energy in your space. For instance, I have these crystals along my window to help soften the energy that's coming in from the street. You can get creative here. Um, I will also be shooting another video that goes into this in more detail um, in future weeks. But as I said, you can use them to affect how energy is feeling in a space. You can also place crystals under your pillow to work on you while you're sleeping at night. For instance, you can put selenite under your pillow to help purify the energy body to also help you sleep and feel safe at night. You can put rose quartz if you're working on self-love and self-acceptance. You can put tourmaline quartz 
again, to clear off the energy body, reduce stress level, clear out um, chakras. Another great example would be apophyllite, which connects you to angelic energy and higher divine energies. Really, again, your limitation is only your imagination. The one thing I'll recommend is don't have more than one under there at a time because the energy can be overwhelming. And also, you don't want big lumpy rocks that are going to hurt your head. You can also place crystals in your bath water. I like to put rose quartz in my bath water. I call it a goddess bath with some rose petals, other lovely bits. It's very nice. So those are, as I said, just some basic, straight up, practical ways that you can integrate crystal energy into your daily life. I think it's important to keep things practical, simple, effective, because as I said, we're busy, we have a lot going on, and the bottom line is crystals are here to help us and to enrich our experience. So hopefully these tips have been helpful uh, to you or have given you some ideas. As I said, you're only limited by your imagination, so this is not you know, a, a, a cut, cold, uh, you know, list of ways to work with stones. There are a bunch of different ways, but if you're looking for ways to integrate them practically, then hopefully some of these will help you. Blessed be.